Friends, this is Dr. Jerry John here. Um, I took the USMLE recently and I excelled in it. I got a very good grade. Um, so I made some videos in the past and in the comments, some people want to know how I was able to memorize the DNA viruses. Um, so during my studies for the step one, um, I had a breakthrough and I think I should share that with people because it will really help people. I've never seen this kind of um, uh, simple method for memorizing the the viruses um, anywhere. So um, in this video it's going to be very short and please subscribe to this channel for very good videos like this. Uh, like, comment and also share to your friends so that everybody benefits from this and I hope it helps somebody. So now let's go to the board and then we see how it is. Um, so it's this simple. Um, so first of all, I draw this circle like this so this means that these are the circular viruses and i draw this this is the envelope of the viruses so you have to know how to draw this first and all you have to do is write in this the virus so right here adeno pavo p p h her pox so just learn this adeno, pavo, p, p, h, herpox. So these are all the DNA viruses. Um, this is adenovirus, pavo virus B19. This is the papilloma virus. Papilloma virus. And this is the polyoma virus. Polyoma. And under this, we have the JC virus, and then we have the BK virus. Now, let's look at the herpes viruses. So, these are the herpes viruses. So, herpes viruses. Um, over here, we have the uh, CMV. We have the VZV. We have the HSV. We have the HHV. And also EBV. Sorry, EBV. So, these are the herpes viruses. Here, we have the pox virus. Um, so this is, and here is the hep B, hepatite, this is the one that causes the hepatitis B. So I'll just, so these are all the viruses here, the, all the DNA viruses that you need to learn for the USMLE step one. Um, so adenovirus, parvovirus. Now let me explain this. So when you see the virus in this circle here, it means that it is circular. If you see it in the envelope, it means that what it is an enveloped virus. So you can make this like in the form of an envelope, meaning that it is an enveloped virus. So anyone that falls in here is an enveloped virus, and these are these ones are circular virus. And when you see it outside the envelope, it means that it is a naked virus. So this adenovirus, parvovirus, polyoma, and papilloma are all naked. You can see them there. So here are all naked. Here, those that are not in the envelope are naked. Those in the envelope are enveloped. So now let's see. So when we look at the adenovirus, it, it causes, it can cause con acute conjunctivitis. And it can also cause cystitis, viral cystitis. Yeah, and it can also cause um, pharyngitis. So these are just some little information I want to add to it. They are just they are all in the first aid, and you can see it. But this is the characteristic: the parvovirus B19 loves to infect uh, pro erythroblast. So um, it loves to infect the erythroblast um, colony forming cells. So um, that would co uh, cause decrease in RBC in the bone marrow. Um, what, another thing is that it loves to infect. Uh, patients who have sickle, sickle cell disease. So if a patient has sickle cell and has a viral infection, and it's most likely going to be the parvovirus B19. There are other characteristics, but these are the basic ones. We also have the JC virus. The JC virus loves to infect um, HIV patients. So when they have HIV, then uh, this JC virus is uh, reactivated in the brain and can also, it can cause uh, progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy, the PML. 
Uh, let's go to her B virus. So her B virus here, her B can cause hepatitis. Hepatitis, which is acute. And uh, we all know that hepatitis B um, always progresses to complete resolution. It doesn't lead to chronic. It's hep C that causes chronic hepatitis. And this one, we get it from B for baby, right? Baby making. So baby making in, um, through um, sexual intercourse. Yeah, that's the main way to get hepatitis uh, B. And hepatitis B, one thing that we should know is that um, it is partially circular. You can see it, it is partially circular from our this uh, table is partially circular in its characteristics. And um, also, we should also know that it has the reverse transcriptase, reverse transcription, or reverse transcriptase enzyme. And this means that it has, it is uh, RNA, this reverse transcriptase is RNA dependent DNA polymerase. It means that it can use RNA to make DNA. That's RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. Now, let's go to the happy viruses. So happy virus, look, look at CMV. So all these happy viruses are enveloped. And the first one is CMV can cause, it can cause um, mononucleosis, infectious mononucleosis. And um, CMV, uh, we also have, uh, it can also call conjectivitis. One thing I should know about CMV is that even though it can cause um, conjectivitis and all those things, CMV infection has no rash. You should know that. It's measles that will have a rash, but CMV has no rash. We also have VZV that can cause chick chicken pox. And we also have HSV virus. This human, uh, sorry, this herpes simplex virus and happy simplex we have the one and then we have two one usually uh, causes infection above the belt and this will be for example um, um happy uh, simplex virus of like common common um, like cold sores on the lips so we, if you see vesicles on the lips cold sores is most like and it's painful it's most likely hsv1 hsv2 will be genital herpes and this genital herpes will always present, usually it's in females, then you, they'll have the, 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 the vulva will have maculopapular rash that has vesicles and it's painful. And we have the HHV, HHV6 will cause roseola infantum. So this will be a child who presents with three days of uh, fever and on the third day, um, so the child will present with fever and on the third day have rash. So that is roseola infantum. We also have HHV, um, eight that will cause Kaposi, Kaposi sarcoma in HIV patients. We have also the EBV. EBV also causes infectious mononucleosis, just like CMV. But the difference between these two is that, um, so the, the question presents with a patient who has um, infectious mononucleosis like symptom. And we do the labs, and then it is um, it does not show um, any ag agglutination, or it, there's no evidence for e e e EBV. And it's, if there's no evidence of EBV, it's either we did the test too late, so we didn't have any um, antibodies in the blood, or it is CMV that is the cause. Um, another thing EBV can cause is the Hodgkin's lymphoma, and another one that it can also cause is the Burkitt lymphoma. And Burkitt lymphoma is has a Robertsonian translocation 814. I'll do a video on this translocation, so it's very, very simple. And so which what is left here that we have to do, um, I think we can go through this once more. So we said everything that falls in this envelope is an envelope DNA virus. So let me write, these are all DNA viruses that we are doing. Um, so all these are envelope DNA viruses. All those in the circle have circular DNA. All those that fall outside are naked viruses. So all these ones that fall outside the envelope are naked viruses. That, make, that should make sense. And I think 
Uh, this is a very simple way that I used to remember the DNA viruses. And thank you so much for watching this video. video. Please subscribe to this channel, um, like and share with your friends as we um, decode the USMLE step one. Thank you.